This is Anthony John Agnello, host of Games Radar's weekly talk show, How It's Done. This week on the show, we have Jeremy Yates, lead animation director from Naughty Dog, the creators of the Uncharted series. Jeremy sat down with us to discuss his work on Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and 4 coming to the PlayStation 4 next year and told us some fascinating stories about the way the games were made. The original Uncharted, which went into production 10 years ago, uh, almost destroyed Jeremy's studio, caused some real problems. It was almost the end of them. And he goes into detail in this story here on how it's done. Yeah, we're right, we're right in the middle of the fourth chapter, I'm going to say. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not to the yeah, ruins he yet. Is. He's, he's doing pretty well. So okay. you're, you're in the waterfall section where there's a combat in the waterfalls? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, so you just passed uh, what our vertical slice was on Drake's Fortune. So we call it Jungle A2. It's our little internal name for that level. But you know when you, you kind of climb down into that kind of like lower area and there's like a bunch of pillars. Oh yeah. And there's enemies around those pillars. You probably just passed that area. I'm assuming, I got right? I got through it. I got through it. Yes. So that was our first like fully fleshed out level in the Uncharted franchise. Oh wow. Um, yeah, it was it was really interesting. Like so so Uncharted so Drake's Fortune took about three years of total production. So the first year of that was pre-production. That was while um, the rest of the company was working on Jack X and then our, our Jack PSP game that, that we never finished. Uh, and then um, and then the second year, like that's when we figured out like, okay, we're making, a, we're making this game, it's going to be Uncharted. We come up with that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back in, it was in 2006, we, we released a trailer at E3 we didn't have, even have the title yet. It was yeah. just Naughty Dog. So this is the Naughty Dog game. Um, so we're going from that where we're like, okay, we know kind of what the character is going to be like. We know what he's going to move like. We, that was just kind of like us kind of like, um, that was our previs in a sense of, of like, this is, this, is, this is the game that we think we want to make here. And uh, we, so we're, now we have to actually make it. <laughs> real. Actually, make you know, make this trailer into a real game, and so that took a year of like, like we were working on Jungle A two for the longest time, and it was actually a really dark period uh, of Naughty Dog because prior to that time, hardly we we had such a low turnover rate, like people would never quit. Um, we hired very rarely, and people wouldn't leave, um, you know, very often. Maybe like one person per year might leave or something. It was like a really big deal, like, oh, wow, you know, we wish you well. <laughs> uh, and, and then, uh, so then we had to transition from everyone in the studio was hired for their ability to do cartoony, stylized, you know, that type of genre. We're transitioning into now we need to do more realistic work. So we're hiring a lot of new people that uh, are able to kind of do that. So they're kind of new to Naughty Dog, new to, to, to to our production and how we work. And so kind of like during that time, that, um, that second year into it uh, on that jungle level, we were getting to the point where all these kind of new people just lost faith. They were oh, like, wow. we're never going to finish this game. You guys are screwed. You've bitten off way more than you can chew. Good luck to you. I don't want to kill myself oh, for this. Oh, wow. Wow. And, and that was, it was like, every single week, even to the point that every, it was almost every day, someone was like turning their resume and they're like, I, I'm done, like, good luck. Jeez. And I think over the course of a couple months, like 50, it was like 30 or 50 people, no, it was going to be 50. It was at least 30 people quit. That's insane. Oh my God. I had no wow. idea. Yeah, it was, it was like, wow, it was like, it's disheartening and you know in some senses and then like but then there was like some of us that had been there for a long time it's like we, we we know that it's hard we know that the first game of a franchise is really hard it was the first game on a system you know it was it was 
going to be a challenge, but we, we kind of knew that, that like, we, we'll, we'll pull this off. We don't know how we're going to pull it off, but we'll pull it off. It's going to be awesome. Man, and, so, like, and, did that galvanize yeah. the team? Like, were you just, like, like, everybody who stayed behind were like, we're here, we're going to do this. Yes, yeah, it really kind of, like, you know, split the team into like, okay, we're either really gonna like leave or or you're you're gonna make this awesome. You're gonna make this work. And so, okay, I have to ask then. So when the, the game comes out and it's amazing and it's incredibly well received, were you just kind of at least maybe a little bit in your mind going suckers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think I think it was a little bit more uh, just a sigh of relief. It was just like, oh my gosh, it, it didn't suck. Like people really <laughs> liked it, you know. Uh, you know, because you know you're, you're you're trying to like you know stay strong and, and and hope that you're making the right decisions. And thank you for watching. If you are interested in catching future episodes of How It's Done, we air every Thursday at 4:30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash gamesradar.